So almost, almost everybody sees that as a counterclockwise motion resulting from this kind of push. So I could give you this, this kind of push and uh, you would see I can't do it very well because as soon as it starts to move, my hand ends up moving with it and then it's not quite at the same spot anymore. But anyway, if I just pushed it a little bit right there, you can see that it is rotating counterclockwise. That's the kind of torque that gives it. Any questions about that? Counterclockwise, by the way, by your right hand rule, counterclockwise would be pointing a vector pointing toward you. So that's a torque vector. The force points to the left, sorry, to the right. The force points to the right. And the torque vector due to that force points toward you. It points out of the screen toward you by the right hand rule. So here, here is the famous, uh, maybe not so famous, uh, yank the tablecloth out from under the wine goblet trick. This wine goblet is meant to be sitting on this really thin line right here is a tablecloth. The thicker line is the table. So here's the table. There's the tablecloth right above it, sitting on top of it. The tablecloth is going to be yanked to the right. The wine goblet is sitting on the tablecloth. So I'm going to tell you that here are three forces due to the objects interacting with the, with the wine goblet. The earth, the earth pulls straight down on the wine goblet. So here's something I haven't told you yet, but I should tell you now. Um, we're how does the, where does the Earth's force get applied? Well, the Earth's force is applied exactly at the center of mass. The center of mass of this, almost all of the mass of the wine goblet here is the liquid that's inside. So the center of mass of the wine goblet is up here somewhere in, in the middle of the wine. And so the Earth's force gets applied directly there. The other forces get applied wherever the object touches, and so it's down here at the bottom that the tablecloth is touching the, is touching the wine goblet, because the wine goblet is sitting on top of it. And so the tablecloth is pushing up on the wine goblet, often called the normal force because it's perpendicular to the contact. The contact between the goblet and the tablecloth is horizontal. They, they, they have a horizontal line of contact between them. So the, there's a part of the force of the tablecloth is holding the wine goblet up, so straight up. And because I yanked the tablecloth to the right, it turns out there's also a friction force by the tablecloth on the wine goblet, pulling it to the right at the bottom. So you've talked about these kinds of friction forces a little bit, I think, in your last DL. So I'm just going to draw it in. My question for you, what's the direction of the torque vector due to the friction force? And I want the torque vector around the center of mass. So we're going to take the center of mass up here as the axis of rotation. And I want you to tell me the direction of the torque vector due to that friction force that pulls to the right down here at the bottom. 